In this video, we're going to write a Python program to compute the perimeter of a circle, or what's called the circumference of a circle. The first thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter a radius. We'll say input, and then we'll have radius. Now the string the user enters is going to be returned by the input function. We need to use the number in that string in an expression. So the first thing we'll do is convert that string to a float value. Then we'll assign the result to a variable called radius. Now to actually compute the circumference, we're going to use the expression two times pi times the radius. Now we haven't actually defined pi. We could define it ourselves. We could create a variable called pi and set it equal to 3.14. But instead, what we'll do is import the pi constant from the Python math module. We'll say from math import pi. And then we can use pi in our program like this. Finally, we'll output the circumference. So we'll have print and then circumference colon plus str circumference. So what we're doing here is taking the number we get back from this expression and converting it to a string. Then we're going to concatenate this string here, circumference, with the actual value we got back. So we can save this and run our program. And if we enter in a radius of four, we do get back the correct circumference here. Now, this circumference has many decimal digits of accuracy. We might not need that many decimal digits of accuracy. We could use the round function to round down the number of decimal digits in our result. What we'll do is have round, and we'll pass round as its first argument, the result of this expression. The second argument will be the number of decimal digits to round down to, and we'll say two. So we can save this and run our program again. We'll again enter a radius of four, and now we get our circumference value back, but it's been rounded down to two decimal places. If our program needed to compute the circumference of a circle at multiple points in the source code, we'd probably rather not just rewrite the same expression again and again. We could even make a mistake if we try to do that. Instead, what we'll do is have a function compute the circumference of a circle and return it. So we'll make a function called circle circumference. And this function is going to have a single argument, the radius. We'll call the parameter r. And the function is going to return this expression. We'll just change radius to r. Then down here, we could just call this function. So we'll say circle circumference, and we'll call it with radius. Then if we save this and run our program again, when we enter a radius of four, we'll get back the same correct circumference value as before. So this is how we can compute the circumference of a circle using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.